Hello and welcome to Home with Sarah Jane. Today I wanted to share with you how I make easy Spanish rice. So first I'm going to show you the ingredients that I'm going to need in order to make it. Okay, so in order to make some easy Spanish rice, you just need some white rice, some vegetable oil or any kind of oil you want to use, an onion, some tomato sauce, this is cumin and garlic salt. I have, what are these called again? Um, chicken bouillon. And I get the, these are like the bigger ones, the larger like jumbo cubes, and then just some water. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you how to put this all together. First thing I did was I added some vegetable oil to my pan. Now my um, heat setting is at kind of like a medium low. And as you can see, I do have some oil in the bottom because what I want to do is I want to toast my rice. So I am making two cups of rice. And you do want to watch it at this point because you can burn your rice really easy if you're not paying attention to it. Okay, so while this is toasting, I'm going to grate some onion in here. I do not like big chunks of onion inside of my rice. If you don't like onion, you don't even have to put onion in here. I like the flavor of it, flavor of it. I just don't like the big chunks. I guess you could say I'm zesting the onion in. This was also a way that I hid the onion from some of my family members that don't like onion. They're not allergic, they just don't like, or they say they don't like it, but they love everything I put it in. So I just make it to where they can't see it. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and let this toast up for a few minutes. Okay, so you can kind of see, no, no, I'm not sure if I'm picking it up on camera, but your rice is going to start to get, your rice is going to start to get toasty and turn like a brown or like light tan. Again, just be careful because you can burn it really fast. So once the rice is toasty or toasted, I don't know if you can see where it's starting to go brown, I'm going to go ahead and add in the water and the tomato sauce. So for the two cups, I'm going to add four cups of water. And I'm going to add in a whole can, the eight ounce can of tomato sauce. And then I'm also going to add in one of these uh, chicken bouillon cubes. I know you can technically just put this in the water and let it dissolve. I never do. I always just break it up like this and put it in. Okay, so now that that's all added in, I'm going to just stir this all together. And this is also when I'm going to add in the garlic salt and the cumin, or cumin, however you say it. So with the garlic salt, just add salt as you like salt. And the cumin, I usually go off of smell. I know that sounds weird, but when I could smell it really well, that's when I stop. So I'm going to stir this all together and give it a sniff, I guess. Hold my hair back. I think it needs more cumin. There we go. So 
So yeah, adding this, the garlic salt into cumin is more like your personal preference on how much you'd like. My family likes to actually taste the cumin coming through. Yeah, that's better. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna bring this to a boy, uh, like a low boil, and then we're gonna turn the heat down and we're gonna cover it. Okay, so now that we're kind of at like a low boil or simmer, however you wanna call it, I don't know, the technical term, when it looks like this, <laughs> when it looks like this, go ahead and cover it. Lower the heat down to low and just let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. I would check it every, you know, so often, like after 10 minutes, I start checking it every few minutes just to make sure that the bottom doesn't burn. Okay, so this is after about 10 minutes. It's not quite done yet. You can still see a lot of the liquid on top. So it's almost there, probably only about two or three more minutes. Okay, so now this is done, I'm gonna turn it off. Um, so now that this is done, you can see that in there. You can just eat it just like this, obviously when it cools off. Um, but my family actually, I didn't add this to my ingredients list. Um, my family likes for me to add cheese. So I add cheese to our rice. So all I'm going to do is add a couple of handfuls, my, my family likes it with cheddar cheese, of cheddar cheese on top. And now that the stove is actually off, all I'm going to do is just cover it back up and let the cheese melt on top. And this is what it looks like with the cheese on it. And it is all done. So that is it for today, easy Spanish rice. It's really, really good. It's still steaming. So yeah, thank you so much for stopping by. You have a great day. Bye.